clouds over just as we go outside. How you guys doing? Welcome back to Phil's YouTube channel. I'm traveling about at the moment. I'm on a short spur at the moment, not a work trip. I'm in fact on a trip with my cousin, who you will remember from such vlogs as, vlogs as this one. Welcome home. Thank you for picking me up. Yeah. Oh, thanks well, for being on top. He, he nearly didn't. I had to wake him up. And also the guy who saved my knee. I was just going to say, you might yeah. remember him from, oh my god, my knee! Joe is traveling through Europe and he has five weeks, get this dudes, I kind of put this in there, five weeks of paid leave from his job. He's not got annual leave, he's not got, oh please can I take some sick days as well. No, they're paying him to travel around Europe for five weeks because of a crap, crap summer job that he had to do. And um, yeah, he's using it wisely. So he's going all around Europe and today and tomorrow and the day after and last night, but I didn't film anything. We are in Budapest. I've been to Budapest with work two or three times, but have never explored thoroughly, Humble properly <laughs> with someone else. Um, but yeah, all I've, all I've had time to do is go for a quick run along the river or a bit of dinner and a beer. But I've got a proper few days now to see the sights and I'm bringing you guys with me. But yeah, even after traveling through Europe for quite a bit, Joe still finds it fun how, how we just walk in and around the road as pedestrians. Bizarre. Don't do stuff. Because you guys would get a ticket, yeah? In Canada? Yeah, you, you're jaywalking for sure. Absolutely. You're in trouble. Jaywalk. So Phil, finish him with the plan. Where are we heading first? Well, we were going to go to St. Stephen's, but... Uh, on the way, but something different. On the way, I zoomed into Google Maps and saw this place called House of Terror. Which sounds very exciting. <laughs> so we are going to the so, House of Terror. Museum, isn't it? It's a museum, yeah. Yes. I have no idea what's inside. Probably terror. And then uh, and then we're going from there, just continue onwards to St. Stephen's, and then probably hitting the riverside. We're also going to download the app for these, which is probably quite dangerous and risky. Just found a piece of the Berlin Wall. Heading back to the flat very briefly. Oh, because Europeans are racist. Europeans they, are not racist. Yeah, there's a massive there's a massive discount for anyone in the EU and we are both in the yeah. EU. Well, so because Jake, um, I'm from North America, he gets less money than me. Joe's Canadian, but he we also we're related cousins as you heard. <laughs> so, he's got a British passport. So, we get a 50% discount if we just show our IDs, our passports. So, we're both heading back now quickly to grab them because I completely forgot there are massive loads of EU discounts all over Europe. Um, we are staying in a little Airbnb in a little district of Budapest. I've always stayed in a nice hotel with work on the river, so I'm seeing a different side to the city, which is always nice when you pop to a city and you're seeing something completely different, a new side to it, a side you haven't seen before. And our Airbnb is beautiful. Q tour of Airbnb. <laughs> I like Airbnbs because they feel like your own little place for the time you're there. We're in Budapest for three nights and a hotel for three nights, yeah, it'd be great, but you're spending maybe 50% more, I would say a lot, lot more. I think Airbnb is a great way for people who have apartments or spare property to make money. Use Airbnbs if you haven't. Get over the whole gist of, oh, I'm in someone else's house. So in lots, in lots of places in Europe, this is in London too, you've got parking spaces that are half on the road, half on the curb, so that cars can still get through. So a car was driving, a car was driving towards us, and then Joseph's just like, why, why the hell are they driving at us? Well, no, I understand it's to park, but it's, there's a better way of doing it. But back, because you forget your country's a baby, when our, this country was made, they didn't have cars. So all of these streets would have been little pathways, and, and they made, them into, road, that, they made yeah. them into roads. And so they're like, oh crap, we've got to fit all of these cars on them. Two hours later, we've just popped back out of the museum we were in. We went in, Joe not reading much about it, knowing it was a museum, but not really knowing what it was. And then from these chains outside and the Berlin Wall, recognized that it was probably a war memorial of some kind. And the House of Terror is all about the Nazi and Soviet occupation of Hungary during the Second World War and everything that um, came after. I don't, I don't know about you, we were just chatting about it. That's one of the most real and disturbing yeah disturbing museums I've been in ever. There was one bit of footage of the, the, the movement of bodies into these mass graves of Jews um, by the Nazis, um, basically using excavators to pile all these bodies. And I've never seen anything like it. I don't know how they're actually allowed to show it. It was incredibly gruesome and graphic. I've never seen anything like it ever. Well, you were no, quite I, taken I, aback. Dude, it was, it's just disturbing to think that that sort of stuff is within the last like 50 to 100 years. It's unbelievable that it's a democratic nation now yeah. I, that's the thing that gets me is that there was people that persevered through the whole goddamn 
regime. It's amazing. Like that, that is just, when it's a house of terror, like that was much more real than any house of terror I could have come up with in my so, imagination. So first, first big shout out, definitely, if you like museums and you like to be informed and know what's happened in the place you've gone to in the previous years past and since way before we were born, then head there. It's in, it is gruesome, it is graphic. Um, you can get a little so bit upset, but it though. is necessary yeah. to go and they've done a really good job. They haven't pussyfooted around, they've got the job done. We've made it St. Stephen's Basilica and there is also um, a massive Christmas market just in front of it, which is perfect. And so we're going to head in now and have a little look. We're easing our way nicely into a happy day. So we've done War Memorial <laughs> Museum, yeah. now Somber Moo Church, but it's still not. lovely. And then it's a, like, um, a pub, um, a pub <laughs> although I guess some mulled wine at the fair. <laughs> And um, Joe have just seen the same, um, you just saw it too, um, St. Stephen's Basilica inside and now we are going up to the lookout over the dome, which is a very long, 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 long way up. <laughs> All that way, in fact. Just gonna get my pet in I'll probably have music going over most of the stuff, <laughs> to be honest. Like this, there's like... Oh wow. Like what? Where are we going? Oh mate, so this is this is the dome. The artwork is on the other side of this. The what? The right, that's the church. Oh, fuck yeah. This is the top. So what I just filmed, what you just said, oh look it's God. He's on top of that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> What do, you, what do you think of the view, Joe? Uh, it's unbelievable. Pretty, pretty, pretty good view. Pretty good view. I, th I don't think Joe likes how, even though we're taking tons of photos and then shots, that I'm hanging um, my camera. No, I hate it. I hate it. Over the edge of this. Time. But the best thing is, this isn't insured anymore. So if I, if I do drop it, it's gone forever. It's 2,000 pounds. Just. Do you want to hold it over there? <laughs> <laughs> we have just finished the incredible views of the city of Budapest from St. Stephen's Basilica, the dome at the top. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Now, Joe just said, oh, I'm going to really quickly run up to the top of the stairs um, because I, I want to count every single step it is. I want to know how many steps it was all the way from the top of the dome all the way down to the bottom. And before he did and properly <laughs> lost count and had to run up and down over and over, I just said, I'm pretty sure that's something you can Google. And he goes, no, no, I need to check. How many steps is it? 302. 302. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and now all the way back down. I'll get a little shot. Wait, are you sure it was 302? Yeah. <laughs> are you, you, you sure? Uh, are you, it might be 302. That's, I count for sure. <laughs> so, 302 steps from there to get to the top. How many more are we adding on? Let's go. Yarn. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. 24. So it's... 326, but we could keep going. <laughs> no, I think we're done. We're now going to explore this Christmas market after getting a bit of cash, maybe get something to warm us up. And then, get then head down to the bit of the city that I know really well, where I've been before with work twice, um, to the river, because my hotel was on the river. So we've got, um, we've just come and we've got a very um, local dish, um, basically goulash, and they put it in this bread bowl. Look at that. And so that is beef goulash. And then we've got one I've never had before. I've had that one, but I've never had this, which is chicken, potatoes. Focus. Chicken, potatoes, and onions. It's and probably going to be a obviously, bit better. Obviously, a mulled wine to wash it all down with. Cheers, Joe. Cheers. Watch out, it might be hot. 
We've just popped down to the River Danube after having a lovely bit of food. That goulash was amazing. And I don't know if you can tell from the light on my face, the sunset is peaking, it's gorgeous. And um, we've just popped down for a little. Joe, Joe wants to test the um, temperature of the Danube. Chilly, Joe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cold. We've come for a little bit of a walk up to the top near Parliament. This is the lazy tram you can get. We didn't get the tram. We've come all the way up to see this beautiful, beautiful building and also see this amazing view of the city. Look at that, guys. We've managed to come to the area where all the tourists are getting their shots and it's um, safe to say I think we peaked quite early on, which is good because I tried to get all the photos here. I'd be hit by a selfie stick. How are you guys doing? <laughs> What's the plan? What have we just decided to spur at the moment? We found two scooters and uh, looked up. They don't cost a whole lot. And we have this nice drag strip right down that way. So we're going to go ripping down there, follow a bunch of bikes. <laughs> we're going to be we're gonna be very, very sensible. And I'm also going to try and get some shots and film it. So let's just get there. So you push off and then... Oh, yeah. whoa! Yeah. Well, that was good fun, but we're going to put these away now because they cannot feel our hands because it's so cold. It's like riding a motorbike slowly through the cold. <laughs> um, but we have just arrived here. It's nice. That looks very nice. <laughs> just finished some more mulled wine quickly. Um, at a lovely Christmas market, the main Christmas market in Budapest. I didn't take loads of shots because I didn't want to whip my camera out because I had a mulled wine in my hand and just wanted to explore. But I had to get this street on the camera because look how lit and pretty it is. It's lit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. So lit. Look at this little, look at this guy having the best time. Having the best time, best time strolling around. But I think we're going to argue about when we're allowed to cross the road and can, can well, we cross yet? It's green, yeah. It's green. So we can cross now because it's green. <laughs>